In this video, we're going to talk about my top three tips for having a successful threesome. I'm the Kiki Poly Atheist, and yes, today we're talking about threesomes. Stick around. Welcome to the show. I've been building up to this one for a while. Uh, threesomes are one of my favorite things. So what you're going to find is a lot of me referencing previous videos because there's a lot of little details that you'll probably want to know before you jump into the deep end with threesomes. But in this video, yes, we're going to talk about my top three tips to make a threesome successful. Like and subscribe, share with your friends. You can ask me questions at ask at kinkypolyatheist.com. So yeah, I've been building up to this. In fact, I was planning on writing a book about how to have a successful threesome, and I realized the topic was so big and there were so many things that came first that instead I've been writing a book about how to have amazing sex with your significant other. Having an amazing connection with your significant other is where it all starts. So I've been working on that book first. I'm wrapping up the first draft on that book now. It'll be available summer of 2021. I'll leave a link in the description to either pre-order the book or get it off Amazon when it's available. My first tip to having a successful threesome is to talk about getting it right before it starts. So for example, start with the question, what would it have to look like to make it work for everyone? What I love about this tip is that it focuses on what works and it creates a conversation around how can we make it work rather than focusing on the things that don't work and all the ways it could go wrong. Focus on the things you want to happen, not the things you don't want to happen. Talk about how it can go right. For example, some couples might have some jealousy at play or just simmering below the surface. What would it take to make it work for everyone? Also, I made a video all about jealousy and how to deal with it. So go check it out. Couples, can your relationship status survive this encounter? Again, what would we have to do to make it work for everyone. And right here, I'm just giving you a little heads up. Make sure your relationship status is not gray area. And if you're interacting with a couple, make sure their relationship status is not gray area. Again, I've also made a video about this. Go check it out. Will this encounter create drama in your life or your reputation? What would we have to do to make it work for everyone? I highly recommend the video that I made about the five types of open people that you should avoid. Who else will this affect? Some people might have relationships with other people and they might have agreements with those other people. What would it have to look like to make it work for everyone? What does safe sex mean to everyone? Some people might have different availabilities or schedules. Again, what would it have to look like to make it work for everyone? How do we make sure that all of our friendships are going to be preserved when this thing's over? What is it gonna look like tomorrow and all the days after? What's off limits? And what is no-go territory? What would we all have to do to make sure it works for everyone? So notice how all of those questions all came down to talking about what can we do to make it go right? How can we make it go right is very important. Don't get stuck on all the ways it's going to go wrong. And if you're with someone who's stuck on all the ways it could go wrong, don't do it. Tip number two, continuously speak up and get involved. If you see something you like, say something. If you see something you want to try, say something. Maybe you see like a toy or something that somebody has or an outfit that you like, just say something. If you see something you don't like, say something. If you see something you don't want, say something. Maybe you see some sanitary practices that aren't unfolding correctly, say something. Hey, that toy over there, I don't want to use it. I don't want to play with it. Just speaking up and being clear to the other two people keeps the communication open and everyone knows that everyone else is having a good time. If they're not having a good time, it can be addressed immediately. So just say something. Have a safe word and also use it. I have a video on how safe words can fail. And a big reason is that people don't use them. Please go check out that video. You'll be thankful you did. If you feel left out, say something. You're there for a reason. The three of you wanted to do this for a reason. They don't want to leave you out. They want you there. So if you feel left out, it's not on purpose. Just say something and you will be beckoned right back into the action. If you need a bathroom break or you need to leave the room for an extended period of time, just say so. If you disappear and you don't tell anybody why, the other two are going to stop and say, wait, where's, where are they? 
and they're going to get concerned and it's going to break the atmosphere and the mood. Just check in and say, hey, I'm running to the restroom, be right back, and you'll all have a great time. If you are triggered, say something. Don't wait. The moment you realize, say something. If you feel some anxiety or some fear or, or anything, say something. Again, they want you there. They don't want you to feel left out. And they definitely want to support you if you're feeling triggered and relieve all doubt or fear or anxiety. So if you're triggered, please speak up. It is the best thing you can do. If you feel rushed or awkward, say something. If you feel like sitting out for a minute and just observing the action, that's fine. But say something so that the other two people know this is what you want and that you're not feeling left out and nothing's wrong. My third tip for having a successful threesome is never compare. Don't compare yourself to them. Don't compare them to each other. Don't compare anyone to anyone outside the room. Don't compare bodies. Don't compare kinks, not anything. Don't single anyone out for being the best or your favorite or better. Don't compare your sexy friends boobs, butts, or anything else. As soon as you compare, that automatically puts one person down. Don't do it. Don't compare yourself. Don't compare your own boobs or butt or any other parts to your sexy friends, because again, that's gonna put one of you down. All people are beautiful and unique. Praise them for their unique beauty and then stop. Don't go further than that. For example, you could spank your friends Jen and Bill and Jen might not be into it and Bill might be really into it. And you can say to them, wow, that whole spanking part was a lot of fun. But don't say, it's too bad Jen can't take a spank like you can, Bill. That praises Bill at Jen's expense. And it puts some BS expectations on Jen that basically manipulate and borderline violate her boundaries. Don't do that. Again, all people are beautiful and unique. They're beautiful for sharing their unique kinks. They're beautiful for sharing their unique energy. Praise them for their unique qualities and never compare. So once again, my top three tips for having a successful threesome are, one, talk about getting it right before it ever starts. And that magic question was, what would it have to look like to make it work for everyone? Two, continuously speak up and get involved. Again, whatever's going on inside your head, just say something. And number three, never compare. Not yourself to them, not them to each other, not anyone to anyone outside the room. And don't forget to check out those videos I mentioned. And you know what, I'll just make a playlist, a threesome playlist, so you can just watch the playlist and it'll be really easy. So look for that in the description. So how about you? Have you had a threesome? Was it successful? Do you have any tips for making a threesome successful? Drop them in the comments below and let's get a conversation started about it. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, and if you have any questions, you can send them to ask at kinkypolyatheist.com. I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, <laughs> puts her feet right in my mouth.